It's Australia against the United States. World number one up against world number 11. Number seven, Joe Ingalls. Well, I think it'll be similar to the first game. I thought the Australians were outstanding, but it'll only take a two or three minute period where they're off the mark. 85 cases we see the United States still tinkering with their lineup with a few different starters. Well, they have indeed. They've only got two starters from game one, Donovan Mitchell and Miles Turner. Underway at Marvel Stadium. And with Miles Turner doing the jump, Joe Ingalls. Shot clock to single digits. Ingalls penetration. Bates. Well, he's bumped. Miles Turner misfires. This is Ingalls. Well, Landale again finds some space and he throws it down on the USA. Just as, just as out of your mouth, uh, Hammer, we see the, 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 the passing and Landale of the defense of Australia as well. Well, this is good stuff from Australia as Bain jumps upstairs to throw it down. And I think Andre Lamanis has channeled you, uh, your coaching thoughts, putting Joe Ingalls in another on ball situation. Thank you. Finally, that's where we want to see him. Well, the positive thing about this start for Australia is only two points between Mills. We're on a 7-0 run here, Team USA, as Ingalls works into the corner. Catch and shoot came from that man, Chris Golding, and he picks up where he left off in game one. Oh, that was a game. Need to reset here, and this man can reset before a blink of an eye. This time he's off the mark. USA, rebound count 8-6 Australia so far. Shot clock to single digits, now on the floor, wants Ingles rolling to the hoop from close range, he gets the two to open his scoring account. A clear out for him, here's Nick Kay rolling down to the low block, did well, protected the ball and came up with the finishing touches. That's 12, 12 points now have come from points in the paint. Well done Nick Kay, just shut him down, shot clock rolls to red numbers, it's short. Ingles draws contact. Foul's going to be on Brown. It's going to be his second personal. Nick Kate. Three and a half to play, term number one. Ingles knocked down, couldn't get a whistle. Bogut's forced to fire. It's off the front of the rim and entertaining. First term concludes here in game one. It was the USA by two. This is Ingles. Works into the paint largely uncontested and off glass as Ingles brings them up the floor. Game working to the foul line and now decides to fire over the top. Australia in front for the first time in the game. That is a great sign for the Boomers. The great man Joe Ingles now with six points. Three from four from the field. Does not seem to affect him. His body language, he stays with it. Joe Ingles doing what Joe Ingles does with those long inspector gadget arms. Able to deflect the ball and come up with something cheap for the Boomers. Chris Middleton says, you can't be that casual with Joe around. And collects the foul as well. Great work by Joe. I love the extended defense, and that's another thing. That is a minor concern that they will need to manage. As Ingles puts Australia back on top. Andre Lamanis didn't stay with Andrew Bogut for a little bit longer. And, that, and, and the key to that is Paddy, is uh, Matty Delvedova's ability. Provided by Turner. An unlikely conveyance, so he hands out, he's fouled Derek White. Hit on the head was the call from referee Chris Reed and Joe Ingles is not best pleased. Well, I think they guessed on that foul and guessed wrong, according to Joe Ingles. No. And they played on the fifth day of competition in Australia. Well, they led by as many as eight in the opening quarter. And they, uh, they're looking for some scoring. Camelo Anthony was a, was a superstar. We are set for a fantastic second half coming your way and let's get some reaction here at halftime as we go to Corey Williams. Joe Ingles crafted his way to get those eight points and the five assists I think that's the big telling one and down the other end of the floor. Set to go in the second half USA with a possession arrow more than he scored for the entire game and the opener on Thursday night oh, he looks off the D just didn't get enough on the shoots in game one but sitting out this with a sore left ankle as Landau jumps upstairs and throws it down. A little 1-2-2 extended defense by Australia, uh, by the United States gets exposed. Good D from Baines there as he kept Barnes at bay and now Ingalls exploring. For game two along with 50,000 plus. Anthea Lapalia will be well known to stuttering at the moment. Ingalls, we turn down the wide open three and get an even better shot as he rolls to the hoop and he's into double figures. And that is the bread and butter of this Boomers team. You get the ball in the hands of Andrew Bogut. You've got Paddy Mills coming off. Bogut. In 
Nichols in the corner, being denied at the moment by Harris. Getting after the ball, but you have to be smart enough to know that your team is in the bonus. Harassed by Middleton, who's playing with three fouls. Ingles, good use of the body, and just helps himself to two. Australia have a four-point buffer here, and Ingles up to 12 in the game. Great body use from Joe Ingles off that pick and roll. Impossible in Australia in two games. Oh, Joe Ingles took too long to restart there. On Thursday night, he got 22 field goal attempts up, so he might have a few up his sleeve. You just sense Ingles. Carded by Turner in a mismatch. Might like his chances here, says I do indeed. Joey stepping up exactly when the boom is needed. Hasn't shot the ball well. Ingles, Mills, the two and all man. He runs it to the hurry, but it will count. Count the two. Penny Mills into the fans, and the fans are loving it back. Four on the shot clock. Joe Ingles needs to get something happening. It's a tough shot, and it's short. Shot clock expires in the background. 42 seconds to play. Australia on the edge of the most remarkable win. They need a foul. And they do. What a turnaround game. USA rush up the floor. They come up empty. Here it is, folks. This is Australian basketball history. We're able to feed off the fans as well. Um, but just a great opportunity. Hope we can all build on this. And yeah, enjoyed the challenge, and we obviously we enjoyed the challenge. And um, for us, the whole time has been about building to get better and better until the, the World Cup. And um, obviously, this is a great step for us.